Gotta get the play mat so we can go ahead and get set up for another fun unboxing from Upper Deck. So let's put this on the table so it looks nice. We have the Eternals box right here. Super excited to check this one out. Hopefully we get a cool signed card. Looks like there's a bunch of different varieties that we could get. There's 15 packs and there's six cards per pack. So this one will be a pretty quick rip, but they're always really fun to go through. We hope you guys enjoy them. As always, check the description. We'll have all of Upper Deck's information down below. Or if you're trying to get your hands on this Eternals pack, we'll put the link for that as well. But let's go ahead and get into it. Let's crack it open and let's see what what fun cards we get today. We finally found a box cutter in a drawer, so we're no longer using our crazy steak knife, so that's good, guys, moving up in the world. So let's go ahead and open this up. I always love the presentation of these. You guys know I always love doing the little pop-up. Let's see, this one's got a little piece of tape right here. dun dun dun, dun. Oh, that's sick. The last box that we got from Upper Deck, we'll link that below as well, was the Shang-Chi set. And that one was a really fun movie set to unbox. So we're really excited for this one as well. I forget if when we did the last um, unboxing with six cards, if there was one hitter or two. I think if I remember correctly, there's two in the back. We got Eternals, some nice foil action on these. So they're all different pictures from the movie, very similar to the Shang-Chi set. Oh, this is cool. This is the, I think this is like a character card. Yep, the character's card on that one. What has she done? And can we go to space two one day? I like the different foils on these ones. They have like a bubble kind of foil, a little different than on the Shang-Chi one. So that's a nice little touch. So we'll separate these by all the different foils. We got the blue ones, the green, the character card, and the silver so far. We're watching nice and close so you can check out all the cards. Let's do the second pack. I chose the one on the left. Let's go ahead and open this one. Let's see what we got for pack number two. I found Tiamat. Guys, I'm gonna butcher these names. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm a movie star, but also an internal. I liked his character. I thought he was pretty funny. Oh, we got another character card. That one's pretty cool. Put that one with the other one. Oh, this is a cool one. This is your fight now. I like the gold touch on there. And then we got Kingo. Some cool character cards. So I think that's kind of the focus of this one is the characters. Looks like there's a good amount of character cards in these. Always fun seeing all the different images from the movies. We got Droog, scary monster. And then we got some green foil action. The next pack. All right, we got the, it's time to put a god to sleep. I think this one might be similar to the Shang-Chi as well, how there's like the same photos, but they have different foil accents. And then we got another character card. Oh, this is a flashbacks card. That's pretty cool. Flashback to 575 BC in Babylon. And then we got this one. I think we had another one of these, except it was a different foil color. I think we had the blue one. So definitely the same as the Shang-Chi where there's different foils, but still the same movie photos. So that's really cool, different variants. I got some creepy monsters in this movie, that's for sure. I will return for judgment. Oh, I like that one. It really blends in with the foil. There we go, Kit Harrington card. We got Sprite on here. I like the foil on that one. That one's pretty cool. Some info on the back. And then we have this one we also had in the blue too. So now we have the green one as well. Let's see what's in this one. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, this one's cool. Is this the Deviant from London? I always like the funny quotes too that they put. We got Cersei. Oh, here we go. We got a film cell. These are always really fun. So you got the Druig film cell. When Immortals Walk the Earth. They're kind of, oh, there you go. You guys can see it a little better. So these are always super fun. We got another one of these. Was it the Shang-Chi set? And we got the green foil on Everything Dies Except Us. Crack this one open. So I think we only got like one really, you know, like hitter card so far. We got the film cell. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, that one's a nice character card. Eternal Scenery. So it must be like a scenery card. I like that with the volcano. With this one. This one doesn't feel super heavy, so I think this one probably just has some of the regular ones. Got another judge card. That one's super cool. And then we got the Icarus card. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. We got the weight. I'm going with you. Oh, I think we have. Do we have this one? Or no, we have one similar, I think. 
think that one has a different foil. Oh, another scenery card. I like these scenery cards. Those are pretty cool. Super pretty pictures. Oh, and then we got the foil variant on this one as well. So we already had this one, but this one is a different foil variant. So that's cool. It's always super fun seeing the variety of cards and seeing what different variants or chase cards are in these different packs. Oh, that one's another cool one. This was another Drew variant that we had. You guys will have to comment down below and let us know which upper deck packs are your favorite or if there's any that you've collected in the past few months. So make sure you comment down below and let us know. We've been having a lot of fun with these upper deck unboxings. Getting into cards has been really fun. Expanding among the comic world. <laughs> That was super cool. It's like all these different variants of one character. There's a bunch of different colors or photos. So I really like how they do that within the packs. It's definitely a, a fun thing to find. We only have four more, you guys. Let's see. I mean, by now we haven't gotten a signed one, right? So that means that we should get one soon. <laughs> Statistically speaking. No signed card in that one. Got some more different variants of these. Another flashbacks. And then we got another variant on Protect the Emergence. All right, last two packs. Do, 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 eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We'll do this one. See what we got in here. The second to last one. Oh, that's a different one. We haven't seen that one yet. We'll have to show you guys all the different variants of the character cards that we got at the end. Another flashbacks card. And then another variant card with the green. All right, this is the last one, you guys. The last pack, let's see what is in here. Let's open it up, maybe we'll get lucky. All right, let's flip through it. Oh, that one's cool with the clouds. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? What is this thing? A see-through plastic eternal regard. Oh, that is really cool. I would say these two are the two hitters in the pack that we got. Always love doing these film cells. Those are always super cool. And this is a new type. I haven't seen this before, or at least we haven't pulled one of these before. So that's super exciting. All of the Eternals cards that we got in the pack, super exciting with all the different variants and the character cards that we got. If you're interested in the product, look in the description down below. We'll have all the information down there. And you can also check out our other Upper Deck unboxing videos for more products. Make sure you let us know which one of these cards is your favorite, if you like the film cell or the really cool plastic Icarus one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see See you in the next unboxing.